So on my Google Drive, I've created something called the template tcga file dot r. So this is an example of a an analysis of tcga data, a workflow uh, written in R, which you can customize for the particular task that you want to do. So the first thing you need to do is download it. I've downloaded it into my download uh, data into my download folder. So if I go and look there now, I can see that particular file if I go to download. So I've got template tcga file dot r. Now on my computer, because I think I've made a bit of a mistake, it's not automatically associating R files with R Studio. But hopefully if you've done the installation correctly, you won't have that problem. So if I double click on it, for me, it asks, do you want to use R Studio or something else? Yes, I want to use R Studio. So I click on R Studio and press OK. And then it will start R Studio. Now, as I said, our studio is an example of an integrated development environment, an IDE. So here I want to look at the different parts of the screen. So here I've created an image of that uh, screen and I've labeled the four different uh, parts of our studio. It has four different separate windows. You can see that they have sliders around them so they'll move around. So a window contains the script that I just double clicked on and opened. So that's actually the workflow and a script written in R's language. This is where you're always going to type your information, your scripts and the things that you want to run. What's important is this run button at the top. What you do is you click on that individually on at the start of each line and it will run the code one line at a time. It will run it until that line is complete. So sometimes it can actually be spread over several physical lines until the command is finished. The second window, the B one here, contains a list of all the things that are currently available within R. At the minute it's empty because there's no data inside it. Uh, you can also flick this to be the history, which will tell you all the things you've typed in R, and it will also give you a tutorial if you want. When you've got things in here, if you want to clean it up, you can click on the little button, uh, the button that has the broom, sorry, and that will clean that particular thing. The next thing is, is this window labeled C, and this is the console. So down here at the bottom, you can see a greater than symbol and there's would be a flashing prompt if I was live and not an image. So this is where you can type things and then you can run them in R. So this is often used. So you type commands, practice to see they work, and then you can put them in your code file for later so that you can keep repeating them. And then there's this D window, which has lots of different functions. It can give you a list of the files that are available within the place that you're currently working in. It can display images of plots. It can tell you about packages, more about that later. If you ask for help, they'll be displayed here. And it also has two other functions that I don't think I've ever used. Right, so I'll get rid of that image and go back to the live version. So at the top here, I've got a lot of hashes, which are all in green. So they are unrunnable comments. If you put a hash at the start of a line, then that line is commented out means the computer will ignore this. It will not run it as part of the commands. So you can use this to put information in it so that somebody, when they're reading their, your code, they can understand it. 
So in this case, I've got a description at the top saying this is the complete script for running TCGA through Bioconductor, written by me in on the 3rd of the 3rd, 2023. That was the original version. I've since done some tweaking, but I haven't altered the date. So the first part of this script configures Bioconductor. Now, as I said, R on its own doesn't have all of the functions you need to do bioinformatics. So you need to include Bioconductor. Now, you only need to do this once on your computer. Once it's done, R will permanently have a link to Bioconductor and to all the things you attach. So when we went to the Bioconductor site, you've seen this line already, which is if require main space, bio, bio C manager, Bioconductor manager. Quark equals true and all of the install packages, bio manager, bio manager install version equals 3.18. So what this does, is it installs a management program which will allow you to connect to Bioconductor for version 3.18. Now, because I've done this before, I don't actually want to run it. But what you want to do is place the cursor at the start and press the run button. If I press it now, it's not going to do very much. Now, as I said, sometimes commands are over multiple lines. So you can see down in the console, it's got a plus saying, oh, I haven't finished. You haven't finished that particular command. So I need to press run again to actually get it to complete the command. Now that went really fast. You didn't see anything particularly happening, but it was already installed, so it didn't need to check anything. Uh, once you've got Bioconductor installed, then you can install the separate packages and tools that exist within Bioconductor. So key win one that we need is TCGA BioLinks, which is the connection to the TCGA database. There's expression differential analysis uh, program called EDA seek. Uh, this needs to be installed as well. There's edge R which does uh, edge detection and multiple testing. So this is very important for when we want to compare which genes are differentially expressed. There's also cluster profiler and path view and path view allows you to connect to the pathways database within keg. So we need all of those tools installed. Now they've already been installed on my computer and I can see this by clicking on the packages button. I can see all of the different packages that are there. So here's cluster profiler. Uh, if I go down, I should find TCGA BioLinks. TCGA BioLinks. So there are some packages which R comes with automatically installed. And there's other ones that I've added in the time of using R. Um, so for some unknown reason, I've got one called Waldo, which is installed. Don't remember installing that personally, uh, but I must have some time. There's one called Per for functional programming. There's lots of different tools here that's been installed that are additional to the base of R. The base of R, these basic ones are the ones at the bottom here. And these are always present anytime you run R. Now, I've installed it, so it's now available to R, but to actually get it to run, I need to type library TCGA BioLinks. So I'm placing my cursor there and pressing run takes a little while because it's just getting all the things from there. So it's now got it. It's saying it's installed and ready to use. 